can't even believe that there's four eating out movies, first of all. When we made the first one a really long time ago, I was like, there's no way anyone's gonna see this movie. And when I read the line, I haven't been this wet since Reagan was shot, I knew I really wanted to do it. It's like a little bit more naughty version of American Pie. I want them to be heartfelt, funny, sexy, and authentically reflective of at least a part of our community. They're kind of like a guide to being a young gay man and how to do it wrong and how to do it right. I was excited, nervous, what's another word for it? Scared <laughs> for some of these scenes that we're about to film. <laughs> I have to get naked today. <laughs> Do you guys mind if I sleep nude? I'm always worried about shrinkage, you know? Yeah. Because <laughs> it gets like a turtle, it kind of just goes whoop. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take your word. <laughs> I've always wanted to do <clears throat> a film where I get to scream like a girl. <laughs> it's edible blood. It um, is? Yeah. Wow. So, yeah. um... I'm looking forward to swallowing that. I'm just hoping I can't catch AIDS or anything from the blood that I do have to ingest. It's our first day of shooting. We have shot like three scenes, which means we have 160 more to go. But I'm happy, the actors are great, the crew is wonderful, the weather is cooperating. Um, talk to me in 20 days and see how I'm doing. One of the scenes I shot today is the office scene with uh, me and Dick Dickey, and I go into his office to seduce him. Sexual conduct of any kind will not be tolerated and will be immediate grounds for disqualification. I want you. Okay, I'm not giving you a discount on your tuition. <laughs> The sex scene at first was, I, I think we were both uh, uncomfortable. Um, Steven and I literally just shook hands and met, and then minutes later we were making out and grinding our bodies on each other. So now we're coming? Yeah. Okay. Do you want like a crazy, my leg off or anything like that? Yeah. If it's just like something like crazy, like a, yeah. just like that. Yeah, maybe like <laughs> Okay, like. <laughs> oh! 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 And see. But it ended up being really fun. Steven was really, we just ended up playing and, and making each other laugh. And we were so loud, apparently some pe other people heard us that weren't supposed to. <laughs> I don't think I've done a sex scene in like 10 years since I did a horror movie where I was on top of a car getting impaled by a forklift, rectally. I'm looking forward to shooting the musical number. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I've always wanted to do one. And we have a great song and some fabulous dancer actors and choreography. Tony, to the line, to the line, to the line. Arm, 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 head, head, arm. I got to sing on the song. We, we recorded that last week, so it's like my first real music video type thing. <laughs> It'll be a lot of fun. Here, here, and you run, squeeze in before you pass camera. But you hold it longer than everybody else. So everyone else is just gonna look and then go past. But you like, I mean, this is all about you. Yeah. <laughs> the little rock and roll stuff really works. It's kind of snarly. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> the throw up scene, I guess you could call it my favorite scene. It was definitely challenging to shoot, but it's definitely the most memorable as well. All right, no groping, Jean Viev. <laughs> I couldn't stop thinking about cold sores. <laughs> I really enjoyed vomiting on Marika Genevieve. It's something that I've never done before. <laughs> and then Maddie throw <laughs> up. Everyone stop and pull back a little bit. Look at him. <laughs> but it's all over her, so don't even <laughs> aim for the floor. <laughs> right? No groping, Jean-Pierre. <laughs> it was really disgusting. Oh. 
I seriously thought that I was gonna gag and literally throw up into her mouth. Luckily that didn't happen and it's just, it's just for camera. I gotta stop thinking about cold sores. <laughs> Tomorrow, actually, I'm going to be shooting with Rebecca Cochin, who played Tiffany in the last three movies, and she's literally one of my favorite comedians ever. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I love that tongue. Do that. I love working with Alan. Alan hasn't directed me since the first movie, and I wish we had more time together today, but he's great, and he's so smart and so funny, both he and Philip, and they write so well. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, in four and five, um, Aunt Helen gets a little something for herself. <laughs> I haven't been this wet since Reagan was shot. How do you explain a dream come true? Let me think. How being intimate with Mink was probably the best experience I've had in my whole sexual life. I'm just gonna I'm gonna put that as my my, my final statement. I'm sticking with it. <laughs> cool. So the next one. So uh, you look good. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So everyone. We had planned, her and I had talked backstage, and she was like, you know, let's keep it classy. I, we're just going to kiss. I don't really want to do any sloppy tongue down each other's throat. And in the moment when she turned and just rammed her tongue down my throat, I knew I loved that woman. <laughs> With all the sexual inequality in this world, you're seriously considering giving one of the few good female roles to a man in a dress? Genevieve, that's inappropriate. I'm a transsexual woman, not a man, and I don't need a man to stand up for me. Elle and I are really excited about the character of Lily. Um, it's our first transgender character in any out movie. We've wanted to do something like this for a while. There's not a lot of roles out there for transgenders. So I figured, you know, let me go all out for this and just make transgender power. <laughs> I wasn't until she made me nervous. Cause I asked her, are you nervous? She's like, yeah. So I'm like, uh oh, maybe I should be too. Go for the clothes. Great job, guys. Once there's contact, there's contact, and your body takes over from there. <laughs> Oh, where's my uh, penis sock? This is important for the documentary. Where is so usually when um, somebody grabs a penis in the Eating Out movies, it's not really a penis. It's, it's actually a it's penis actually sock. a sock or a glove or a shoe. A shoe. <laughs> Whatever we can stick down in there. So I just threw mine out, but I think we're gonna sell Has it. Has anyone seen the penis sock? Being that this is my first production, like having to be challenged with, you know, um, kissing and, and simulating those sexual scenes, it's like it's an intense, it's, it's an intense opportunity to learn a little bit more about yourself and um, to reach beyond your barriers. We're orgasming. <laughs> Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> you just missed their private conversation. You just heard it all. Basically, he's like, you did really good. I did not. I was saying as an actor, moment. he was doing really good. <laughs> you did really good. You did really good. Great, you did great. It was a great performance. You did a really good orgasm. Ugh. Yeah. 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 Hey, Alan. I have some thinner stuff. Is it okay? Yeah, Maybe. Perfect. You like it as it is? Some days it's thicker than others. Okay. I don't know. I wouldn't have been so nervous if I didn't have a boyfriend. But I, all the all the time, I was thinking in the back of my head. You know, I hope that my boyfriend's okay with this. We're talking about nipple hair and chest hair. <laughs> he doesn't grow any chest hair. I just grow nipple hair, and he grows. I'm a hair monkey hair. <laughs> <laughs> monkey hair. <laughs> Shooting two movies at one time, yeah, wow. Um, it's a process. <laughs> we ended up shooting number five. Well, we shot two days of number four, and then we started number five. Then we went all the way through number five, then we're back to number four, and now we're finishing our 21-day shoot 
of two movies. This has become a family to me. You know, that we get together for a reunion every couple of years with the cameras rolling. So it's almost a reality series, except everything's made up. Thanks for supporting and watching all these movies. Everyone that has loved them and supported them and said nice things about me online. And even those who haven't said nice things about me online, I love you too. So keep watching. Bye.